Hey! Many fish. It's the 7th of April, 2018. Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. And this is definitely an interesting thing right here. Mainstream. You know, seeing this a lot more mainstream. But this one's, this one's pretty interesting, actually. They tell us, and this is a survey, a legitimate survey through a legitimate survey group. You can go through all the statistics and everything. I'll leave a link to these people. But here they tell us a third of millennials aren't sure the earth is round. Okay. And I can go into a whole bunch of stuff. But the fact is they tell us that a third of the young millennials, I guess they're talking 18 to 24. Okay. And they tell us that it's 66% that do believe the earth is round. Okay. Number of a man, six, six, you understand? That do believe the earth is round, but they don't tell us anywhere that the remaining 33% or what have you are questioning the earth's shape. You know what I'm saying? And I just find that fascinating and encouraging because, you know, in my experience, I don't come across a ton of 18 to 24 year olds, but the ones that I do, um, even non-believers, um, they're pretty sharp. They question things. It's it's kind of wild, actually. You know, when I compare it to my generation, who, you know, it seems to me none of them question anything. You know, all my age group are just completely steeped in the world, you know. Good people, too. It's sad. But nonetheless, there it is. Even believers my age, you know, they the stuff that I show them and, and you know, it's when I'm in person, it's a lot easier for me to show and explain things to people, you know. I'm not the greatest, you know, orator. But anyway, you know, this is really interesting. And I just wanted to share with you. I'll put the links. You can check this out. Most flat earthers consider themselves very religious. And, you know, when people use the term religious, uh, you know, there's a lot of flex there. You know what I mean? A lot. You know, if you asked them, are they believers, you know, you know, and knowing one way or the other, whether the earth is round or flat, in my view, is not contingent on your salvation. It's not something that you must know and understand in order to be saved, you know, but if you don't know Jesus, you know, and I can count myself in the group of before I accepted Christ and really came to know him personally. Um, I didn't really look at any of this stuff. And when I came across some things pertaining to flat earth, it made me question things. And these people are putting forth, um, you know, provable data. I mean, the, some of the experiments that these people are doing and the government themselves. I mean, how do you shoot a laser you know, like 20, 30 miles across the surface of water and not have the curve be an issue. It's because it's flat. You're not bending the laser, people. I don't care what they tell you. You're not bending the laser. It's flat. Water seeks a flat surface. That's why it's used in things we call level. You know what I mean? I know how water behaves. It's just ridiculous. And then they take the total of the, uh, the participants, right? And this is just, this is just stuff that I do. I'm generally led to do it, but I also have a very curious mind. And 99% of the time, what I call curiosity leads me to see things that are pretty interesting. And I believe that are just little gifts and little nuggets that the father likes. You know, he keeps us just, you know, excited and seeking him and seeking him. And that's how he does it. So they polled 8,215 millennials. So I feed that into the calculator and just led to do it. 8,215. And I divide it by the number of the man. You know, they want to tell us 66%. Their little age grouping goes in increments of six, you know. So it's all about six. So we divide that by six. And I don't know what the chances of uh, getting this number are, but I'd say it's pretty slim. 13 
we're seeing the rebellion, we're seeing the, the parting of the good and evil, essentially, manifest from the spiritual to the natural. People are taking sides, including 33% of the millennials, because they're not stupid. And the 69 is just the condition, you know, in this case, I see that as just the condition of mankind. It's still mixed. It's still the iron and miry clay, but the separation is upon us, and it'll come through the rebellion as a result of the rebellion. So, yeah, I mean, flat earth is important, but it's not critical to your salvation. If you don't know Christ, start looking into the flat earth and then compare it to, our, to the scripture as to how the earth was created and look into the meanings of the words and seeking the truth at the same time. If you're looking to understand these things for gain of knowledge, you know, you'll go nowhere. If you're looking for it because your very soul searches and seeks for the truth, you have a love for the truth in the very pit of your belly, then you look into this stuff and you'll come to know God. I hope you all have a wonderful Sabbath, truly. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 